Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect AliExpress into Shopify inside of 2024. So this is going to be helping you, of course, to expand your products offering and tap into the best AliExpress marketplace. You need two things, AliExpress into one tab and Shopify inside another tab. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case you haven't added your actual store inside uh, Shopify or creating an actual store inside of Shopify. So once you have now your new Shopify store, you might be seeing the actual dashboard. Today, what we wanted to do is to install an actual application. So first of all, what we wanted to do is to initiate a connection with the bridge into Shopify store and the accepted product catalog into AliExpress. So let's go here into application section. Now here you can visit the Shopify app store where it says all recommended applications and go directly into the Shopify App Store. Now, usually here we can search for an actual uh, application that can be helping us for adding products from AliExpress directly inside Shopify. For example, there's Deezers. For example, there's Overload. There's Sendrop. There's so much more. Today, what I wanted to do is to go here and type AliExpress. The reason I am typing AliExpress is because I wanted to see what are the elements that are available into my actual country, because this is totally depending on where you're actually currently living. So usually the best solution for me is going to be, of course, Shopee, it's going to be Sendrop, AliExpress, and much more. In my case, I'm going to go for the CJ drop shipping and go into install. Once you make the installation of the best application that you kind of suits for you the best, then what you want to do is to create an account inside the dropshipping um, retailer that you actually chose. So now that you are inside the actual CJ dropshipping, you should see that you have now granted the access between the application and into the Shopify. Now let's go into browse and import the products. With this application installed and configured, it's time to explore AliExpress. So let's go back here into AliExpress and browse through categories. You wanted to find products you wanted to add into your store and click to do import to simply import them into the Shopify product catalog. So let's say for example here this website focuses into selling stuff, feature design about bedroom. So let's say for example that we have here blankets, right? So I'm going to go here into AliExpress and go for blankets. Now, as you should see here, I have a lot of products that I can add into my store. Today, what I wanted to do is to try to look out for a specific product. For example, let's say, I don't know, maybe this one. So once I choose the product I wanted to add into my store, I wanted to find this product directly inside the actual drop shipping. So there's two solutions that you can use. is to copy the URL and paste it here and go into search. Usually this actually just won't work. So to have like more accurate results is to go into the product. I'm going to select a specific image of the product. Let's say for example, I don't know, maybe the first one. I go here and you can save the video or I can totally recommend that only the image. So let's go for save. Now I'm going to hit now here and I'm going to click here into this image section where I can look out for the product. This is going to give me more accurate ideas of what is the actual product I'm actually looking for. Once you find the product you wanted to add into your store, let's go into Add to QE. Why did I choose Add to QE? Because what I wanted to do is to choose only the actual products that I wanted to add into my store. I wanted to add more than one into the QE. Once I finish that, I'm going to go into the upper side of this QE and I'm going to see all the products that were added directly into the listing so I can add this directly into my product into my store. Inside the store, usually it's going to be asking you for the code of the store when you was created. So in this case, it's going to be 7AD6. So here it's this one. And then it's going to be asking you for the price. Usually what we do is to go for the recommended listing price. You can change this later. Let's go here into confirmed and your product is going to be now imported directly into your uh, Shopify store. So what I wanted to do is to go now back into my store. Something to keep in mind is that if you wanted to make sure that you have the accurate number and the accurate prices, you wanted to make sure that when you import the products are with the actual same currency values. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit hard to import with all of that. Additional tip for creative ideas for maximizing your Shopify integration is to go and customize and make sure that you have an actual great view of your store. It's not only about importing a product, but also about taking a look how it actually looks into your actual uh, website. 
For example, I make sure that I have the right um, approach of the view of my website. Maybe I can customize the view of my products by changing, for example, the image uh, mobile layout. And there you have it. I hit now into save and I'm usually good to go. And there you have it, guys. Connecting AliExpress to your Shopify store. From setting compelling pricing to, com to optimizing shipping options, we can share insights to make the most out of the global e-commerce collaboration. If you find this guide helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insight, hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for joining us today. And here's to the global expansion and success throughout the Shopify AliExpress integration, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.